This is my house. It's not big, and it's not small, but I like it. Three people live here. This is Matt. Hi, I'm Matt. This is David. Hello, my name's David. And that's me. Hi, Helen. Pleased to meet you. So there are three people, but there are four bedrooms. So today is interview day. <sighs> What's your job? I'm a jazz musician. Really? What do you play? The drums. But he's very quiet and friendly. No dogs. Sorry. One hundred and fifty pounds a month. Great. Uh, no. One hundred and fifty pounds a week. Sorry. Where are you from? Edinburgh. But my job's in Oxford. Good. This is a nice house. Thanks. We're happy here. Okay. Okay, and cigarette. I don't smoke. We don't smoke, do we? Ah, uh, no. We don't smoke. Oh. Sorry. This is terrible. Who's next? Her name's Jane. She's number eight. She's the last. So, Jane, tell us about yourself. Tell you what? Anything. I'm from Brighton. I'm a drama teacher. I don't smoke. I like films. Good food. Good food? Yeah. Italian, French, Chinese. Do you cook? Yes, I'm a very good cook. Do you have a dog? No. Cat? No. No animals. Do you play the drums? No. The trombone, violin, saxophone. <laughs> Nothing. That's great, Jane. It's your room. Fantastic. When can you move in? Next week. This week. Tomorrow. Sure. Welcome to fifty-three Blackwood Road. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So now, there are four of us. There are four people in the house now, and I'm very happy. And Jane, well, we all like her. 
Morning, everybody. What's this? It's a video film about my new house and my new housemates. It's for my sister, Alison. Oh, right. Is it okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, Ali. This is the kitchen. And who is this? Well, say something. Say what? It's half past seven in the morning. Talk to my sister. Introduce yourself. Go on, David. Hello, I'm David. I come from Manchester. I'm a lawyer. I work in Oxford. That's it. What things do you like? Uh, I like my job. I like football, swimming. I like a quiet breakfast and I don't like video cameras. And I start work at 8 o'clock, so bye. Bye. David's nice, really. Ready? Just a minute. Ready. Hello, my name's Helen. I come from London, but I live in Oxford. What else? What do you do? I'm a marketing assistant for a publishing company. I work in Oxford, but I sometimes go to the London office. I usually go to work at eight o'clock, and I get home at half past six. Is it a good job? It's a very good job. I really like it. What else do I like? I also like good food, films. I go to the gym at the weekend. Oh, and I like travel. I love France and Spain. I speak a little French and Spanish. What things don't you like? Well, I don't like noise. Oh, and I don't like cigarettes. Great. You're welcome. Where's Matt? I think Matthew's still in bed. Matt! Matt! Mm. It's Jane. Can I come in? Mm. Matt! Mm. Do you want to be in a film for my sister? Just say something. Mm. Where are you from? Um. Matt, where are you from? Mm. Birmingham. He's from Birmingham. What about your job? Shop manager. He's a shop manager. He works in a computer game store. He likes computer games. Mm. Matt? Mm. Do you like computer games? Mm. And he likes rock music. And he loves his bed. Mm. Matt, what time do you usually get up? Half past seven. It's eight o'clock. It's Wednesday. I start work at one o'clock on Wednesdays. Matt. Oh. It's Tuesday. Perfect start to a perfect day for Matthew. My room. It's big. It's comfortable. But 
I don't know. The walls. This chair. Everything. Move the bed. Where? How about under the window? Put the hi-fi on the chest of drawers. Put the chair in the corner. I don't know. Why don't you paint it? Paint what? Paint the room. I don't know. I'm not very practical. I don't like painting. I'm always too busy. I don't really have time today. I have a lunch appointment at one o'clock. It's impossible. Can we do it for you? Really? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Of course we're sure. What about the colour? Oh, I don't know. Something nice. Now don't worry. You go out, enjoy your lunch, and leave it with us. Thank you. Okay, let's go and buy some paint. Matt, do you want to come? Yeah. Do you want to get dressed? Oh, right. There is a DIY store here. Where? Not on this road. Ask someone. Hang on, excuse me. Is there a DIY store near here? Yes. Go straight on, turn left at the roundabout, go down the road and it's on the right next to the supermarket. Thank you. about this. Black. There are some really nice colours here. Oh, look. This is lovely. How much is it? £16.49. Gosh, that's expensive. Hey, Matt. This is the same colour as your T-shirt. It's gorgeous. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. How much is it? £11.99. How many do we want? Two. That's £23.98. £24. That's OK. Now, are there any rollers? Uh, there are some over there. Great. I love it. Mm. It looks interesting, but good. I like it.
Finished. Yep. Thanks. I really like this colour. Me too. The room looks great. Here she is. Hello. Hi, Helen. We're up here. Can I go in? Yep. Welcome to your new bedroom. Oh, Matt, your T-shirt. What? The colour. It's horrible. Oh! Next time, Helen, don't ask for help. Do it yourself. This is how it started. Another exciting evening at 53 Blackwood Road. Hi, Julia. How are you? Yeah, sure. When's your birthday? The 4th of August. That's Leo. You're a lion. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. What about you? My birthday's the 16th of March. I'm a Pisces. The fish? So what's the horoscope sign for this month? May. The first part is Taurus. The bull. So Jane's a bull. Is Jane's birthday this month? When? The 13th. The 13th of May. It's the 11th of May today. That's in two days. Are you sure? That's what she said. Did you hear? No. It's Jane's birthday on Saturday. Why don't we have a party? In two days? Yeah. A surprise party. Good idea. Right. How many people? Just the four of us. A meal. The cake. Something to drink. Presents. OK. Let's make a shopping list. Looks great. Where did you get it? Ow. I bought it at Pascal's, you know, next to the bank. How much was it? It was fifteen pounds. Did you get the candles? You didn't get the candles. I did. Thank you. When does Jane get home? Usually at half past six, after her game of tennis. In about twenty minutes. Oh no! She's early. David, help me with this cake. Matt, don't let her come into the kitchen. Oh. How? Talk to her. Two minutes. What do you want me to talk about? Anything. Hi, Jane. Hi, Matt. It let me. Thanks. <clears throat> Did you have a nice day? Uh, yes. What did you do? I went shopping. What did you buy? I bought a T-shirt and some shoes and I bought some food. Matt, are you OK? 
What else did you do? I played tennis. Where? At the sports centre. I had a good day. Did you? Uh, I got up at about uh, oh, about eleven o'clock. Uh, and then I had breakfast. I had cornflakes and I had toast and coffee. An orange juice. And then I watched television. And then. Matt, please move now. <laughs> It's not your birthday. Matthew! But you said it was the 13th of May. The 30th of May, Matt. Not the 13th. Then what do we do with all this food and drink? We can still have a party. Then what about the 30th? We can have a party then too. Sure. <laughs> Great! Two parties! But only one present, yeah? Oh, David. What? Really? <laughs> Cheers, Piers. So that was the surprise party. A real surprise. Welcome to the house. For everyone. Are you free this evening? For a meal, yeah. You are, that's fantastic. It's David's new friend on the phone. Restaurant. I think he really likes her. Brilliant. It sounds very okay, exciting. Then. See you at 7.30. Bye. David has a date. When? Tonight. What's her name? Julia. Julia? When did you meet her? Two weeks ago. Do you mind? What is it tonight then? Cinema? Theatre? Opera? A burger? <laughs> a restaurant? Which one? Hong Kong house? It's Chinese? It's very good. It's very cheap. It's very good. Well, I hope you and, uh... Julia. Julia. Have a great time. I'll come with you. Have a nice evening. Bye, then. This is it. Oh, Chinese. Um, I had a Chinese meal yesterday. Can we go somewhere else? Where would you like to go? I love Italian food. Is there an Italian restaurant near here? I don't know. Yes, there is. Marco's. It's about five minutes away. Marco's? Oh, yes, but that's... What's the problem? Nothing. Come on. It's really lovely here. Thanks, David. Don't mention it. You know, I can speak Italian. Just a little. Can you? I can't speak any languages. Say something, Tim. Good evening, sir. Madam. Go on. Um, buonasera. Uh, potere abbiamo il menu, per favore? Ah, molto bene, signore. Vuole vedere la lista dei vini? Sorry, can you speak more slowly, please? Would you like to see the wine list, sir? <laughs> yes, please. Grazie. What would you like to start? The soup looks nice. I think I'd like the truffles. Okay, the truffles and... Can I have the soup, please? Sir. Truffles... 
and the soup. And for the main course? I'd like the lobster. And I'd like the roast chicken. To drink? How about a bottle of champagne? Sir? Mm. The champagne? Yes. A bottle of champagne? It's hard work, but I like my job. It's very interesting. Mm. And I like playing sports at the weekends. Football. Tennis. And I like reading. Books. Magazines. Really? This is delicious. Can we have the bill, please? Certainly, sir. Thank you very much, sir. What time is your train? Half past ten. Half past ten? It's half past ten now. Oh dear. Can you ring for a taxi? A taxi? Thanks for a wonderful evening. Don't mention it. Good night. Good night. How much is it so far? Uh, Nineteen pounds fifty, sir. But I only have twenty pounds. Oh. Do you take credit cards? <laughs> Visa? American Express? No. A cheque? Sorry. I only take cash, sir. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Good night. That was David's date with Julia. He got home in time for breakfast. We're all cleaning the house today. We don't clean it every Saturday, but today is different. Jane's sister is coming to visit. What does your sister do? She's a student. What is she studying? Film studies. Gosh, that sounds interesting. There, finished. Actually, there's a. Uh... Oh. What time is she arriving? 2 30. I'm going to my yoga class and then I'm meeting her at the station. Hello? Can you turn that off? What? Can you turn that off? Hang on a minute. What did you say? Never mind. Hello? Hello, can I speak to Jane, please? Certainly. Who's calling? It's Alison, her sister. Just a moment. Jane? It's your sister. Why is she calling now? It's only 12 o'clock. Hello? Ali? 
Where are you? Hi, Jane. I'm at the station. But you're two and a half hours early. I know. I got the first train. Ali, I can't meet you. I have a yoga class at half past twelve. That's okay. I can come to your house by bus. No, it's too difficult. Hold on. Can anybody meet my sister? My yoga class starts in twenty minutes. I can. I can. I can. Please. I hate cleaning. <laughs> okay. Hello, Ali. Matt can meet you. There's a cafe near the station, the Rose Cafe. Why don't you wait there? Okay. Can you meet Ali at the Rose Cafe? Sure. What does she look like? Hold on, Ali. She's quite tall and she has long, dark brown hair. What's she wearing? Hello, Ali. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a cream coat and a black sweater. She's wearing a cream coat and a black sweater. Sorry. Hold on. How long? About fifteen minutes. About fifteen minutes. And listen, any problems? Call me on my mobile. Okay. See you later. Bye. Hello? Jane, it's Alison. Where is he? Isn't he there? What does he look like? He has dark hair and a beard. Oh, hang on, is he wearing a black leather jacket and black jeans? It's okay, he's here. See you later. Bye. Just go away. Sorry. I think there's some mistake, Matt. I'm Alison. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi. I thought. It's、uh... Okay.、Um, let's go. Sorry about that. Sorry, I was late. I got a flat tire. No problem. The car's just around the corner. What's the matter? Why are you carrying that bag? It's your bag, isn't it? No. Then who? He's wearing black jeans and a black leather jacket. Yes. And he's carrying my bag.
We met Alison that afternoon. Oh, at last. How are you? Sorry, that evening. After Matt's conversation with the police. 